Okay, I am at the iron, and here is my piece that I finished. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold the iron above it. I do not want to put the iron directly on it because it is going to melt if I do. And do you see how fast that's bubbling up? So, when you do this, you need to make sure that you have enough fabric so that when you're finished, all finished, and you have this all puckered up, you're going to have enough to cover the space that you wanted to do. And so, the way that I know that this is finished is it becomes kind of flat. and more usable. Okay, so now let's take a look. We want it to stop pulling up. Stop drawing up, okay? And so now, look what I have. I have this beautiful texture, bubbly looking fabric. It's very, very unusual. I'm gonna kind of steam the other side a little bit so I can get both sides for sure and it's still pulling just a little bit pulling up there's going to be a 30 percent change in the fabric so that means that if I have something so many inches I'm going to have to take 30 percent away from that and make sure that I have enough and look at what you have now isn't that pretty? And now I'm going to have a great project for you to use this in.